Viewers and subscribers, please subscribe to Saga News TV and give a like and share. One man is dead and another is in police custody following a fight at a construction site at Rose Heights in St. James Monday afternoon. The deceased has been identified as 21 years old, Sidney Edmondson, otherwise called 12, a mason from Rose Heights. The suspect, who is 19, is from the said community. Reports are that around 3 34 pm, the two men were at a construction site in the community when the suspect took up a buckle containing rum and left. It is alleged that Edmondson got upset and an argument subsequently developed. During the argument, the suspect told Edmondson about his mother, Edmondson, who had a shovel in his hand, attempted to hit the suspect, but he ran to his yard and returned with a knife. Edmondson, the police said again, attempted to hit the suspect and resident tried to separate them. However, Edmondson failed to adhere and swing the shovel at the suspect, who used his left hand to block it, resulting in him receive bruise and swelling to the same hand. Edmondson was then stabbed in the abdomen. He fell to the ground, police said, but got back up, held onto the suspect and swung the shovel at him again. Edmondson was again stabbed in the region of his neck. The suspect fled the scene, threw away the knife and visited the Mount Salem police station to report the matter. He was seen with bruises and swelling on his left hand and under his left eye. Resident transported Edmondson to the Connor Regional Hospital where doctors pronounced him dead. The suspect was since taken into custody as they conduct investigation. A 18 years old man was arrested following the discovery of an illegal firearm at his home at Barracks Road in Witton, Westmoreland on Monday. The man, an AC technician, was held after the authorities conducted a raid at his home, the police said. Reports are that around 3 p.m., a team of police officers acting on information went to the home of the suspect armed with a search warrant in search of illegal firearms and ammunition. A search was conducted of his bedroom where one M&P Smith & Wesson 9mm pistol with a magazine containing five 9mm live rounds and one spin casing were found. Under a pillar on top of his bed, he was arrested and taken to the Savannah Public Police Station along with the firearm and placed into custody pending further investigation. The police seized a firearm and several rounds of ammunition on the Port Anderson Road in Portmore St. Catherine on Monday. According to the police, between the hour of 4 p.m. and 5 p.m., a team conducted an operation in the area during which a 380 pistol with a magazine containing 11 rounds of ammunition were seized. No one was arrested in relation to the fine. Investigation continue. A man who allegedly used a gun to threaten a woman before hitting her in the face during an argument on Sunday, February 25th, has been charged by the police. Charged with assault at common law, possession of a prohibited weapon, and assault occasionally actually badly armed. His 37 years old laborer, Courtney Brown, otherwise called Blacks of Burnt Ground Spring Mound in St. James. According to the police, about 2 p.m., an argument developed between Brown and the woman, during which he brandished a gun, pointed it at her and threatened to kill her. The woman reportedly grabbed the firearm and a struggle ensued when Brown allegedly delivered a hit to her face before escaping on foot in the area. A report was later made to the police and an investigation was launched. On Monday, April 22, Brown was arrested during an operation at his home, at his home and was charged three days later, following a question and answer session in the presence of his attorney, the police said. A Westmoreland businessman was shot and killed at his place of establishment in Smithfield in the parish on Tuesday afternoon. He has only been identified by his alias, thus, the news understand that the man in a motor car alighted and shot the now deceased man multiple times. He was pronounced dead at hospital. Police source disclosed that the late businessman was a complainant in a gun court matter. More details to come. The Westmoreland police are reported that thief made off with over half a million dollars after they held up a worker at Little Caesar Plaza in Negril on Sunday night. The news understand that the robber held up a female employee with a knife at her neck as she attempted to empty the night trash at about 11.50 p.m. She was also robbed of $10,000. Reports from the police are that a worker at the establishment 
was in the process of closing up when two men armed with knife forced their way into the restaurant after she opened the door to discard garbage one of the men reported the L a knife to her throat and robbed her of her purse containing ten thousand dollars among other documents it is alleged that the suspect also made went off with cash amounting approximately five hundred thousand dollars which was taken from the cash register a report was made to the police who are currently investigating the matter